All right, so the snow is gone. I can get rid of the snow blower. But uh, as you can see here, I got the head pulled off of the head that's in the car, the 1.8 head. It's on the 2 liter block. That's the 1.8 head gasket that's on top of the head. And believe, uh, between them is the, uh, the 2 liter gasket. I'm not going to be reusing it, obviously. I just wanted to put it up there so I could bolt the head down uh, just to kind of get out of the way. But uh, here's the aftermath of all that. So the head's missing. Um, pretty interesting. This number one piston is chewed up pretty good. Uh, looks like to me a spark plug electrode snapped off and fell into the combustion chamber and just got chewed to shit and spit out one of the valves, which would tell me that the number one cylinder, which is going to be this guy right here, would be chewed up. Um, we'll take a look at that later. It's not. It's not even touched. Now, it could have gotten past the valve and not getting chewed up and that's why it just got beat into the top of the piston just smashed back and down uh, but we'll take a look at the uh, the sealing on these cylinders. We're going to take this head off, flip it on its side and we're going to pour water into all of the passages and watch to see where it leaks on the valves so when we do our valve job kind of get a, an idea for the health of the head. If the head's not healthy we're not going to reuse it, right? So I need to see A, do the valves seal? If they don't seal, where don't they seal so I can do a, a better job on the valve job the main thing is to check the deck of the block for uh, warpage and check the deck of the head for warpage. So we'll flip the head over after that uh, water test and see where that goes. Right now i got to do deadlifts. It is a Friday and it's the peak of my cycle. So Now I have a Rolock 3M um, flap disc that's the ultrafine which is meant for aluminum. This being an aluminum head would work with. Uh, let's go ahead and fire up the uh, air compressor. Get it topped off and we'll, we'll throw that across the deck here and get it, get all this contamination wiped away beautifully. The key with this is not to stay in one spot for too long, just always keep it moving. Alright, that should get us right about to where we want to be surface level. And you can see the, uh, the way this works is it spins at high speed and flares these bristles out and it just wipes away the contamination. This is a very, very light um, abrasive. It's a 3M roll-lock bristle disc. It is the ultra fine. All right. So I'm gonna test it in multiple places, horizontally, across three planes, the front, middle, and back, and then we're gonna go diagonally. It feels like it wants to start there. I don't have a gauge smaller than this, so... So as you can see, it gauged out just fine. Um, this is my smallest at uh, one and a half thou. So, uh, yeah, it's nothing's even... I mean, a tiny bit of stickage here and there, but it doesn't even want to start for most of them. So you just probe diagonally and then horizontally, and then if you really want to be particular, you can go perpendicular, but if it's not going diagonally, it's not going to do with this. All right, but you probably should go between the head, in between the, uh, the cylinders. And you're just trying to get the, the gauge to slip up underneath the head. So we are good. We have a nice flat head. It is now prepped and ready for a gasket. Um, about all right, so I'm just cleaning up after myself getting all the overage here where the water spilled out of the ports and uh, You can tell it's up here on the shelf. Um, these are your intake runners, right? those four these are your exhaust ports and This is where your fuel injectors went All right, so I didn't want water getting into my fuel injectors because the orifices are so small I don't want any rust getting into them. So I pulled my fuel injectors and uh, no obvious outward signs right now of leakage, but it's only been about, I don't know, a minute, minute and a half. So 
So to test the seal, I'm just getting all the spillage off of here so that I can throw the camera here on time lapse and we'll watch to see if anything forms where it shouldn't. And uh, so far, so good. I just need to go ahead and pull my valves next after this test and take a look at the seats. And if the seats look good, I'll do a valve job. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes, not quite an hour, but uh, saw some leakage out of this valve. So let's go ahead and blast up some air and watch the bubbles come up. So definitely use a valve job. It's not gonna get away with not doing anything, obviously, but nothing terrible. It's not leaking profusely. So let's go ahead and tip this guy over and knock all the water out. Uh, blow it all out real good with compressed air and uh, next I guess we'll tear the head down some other day right now today the testing went really well I'm happy with what I see uh, nothing screaming at me don't ever use this head again so uh, that's good All right, so I'm gonna go for a new PR, which would be uh, 435. Feeling really good. I didn't think I'd pull a 385 for four, so it felt really good. Felt like it moved fast, so we'll see just how fast it moved. Should be able to move 435. It's 50 more pounds, but I'm looking for a single, so set you up here, get a better back angle. Make sure I'm not putting too much strain on my low back. Work on my form more so than anything. Wow, so that went up a little bit easier than I thought it would. A little bit of a leg trimmer, um, a little bit of rounding in my back. I gotta take a look at the footage, but that felt really good. Um, I'm ahead of where I thought I'd be, so no more testing for another four to six months. Just stick to the program. Uh, I might adjust my one rep max right now and recalculate moving forward. So next, after this deload next week, uh, things might jump up 15 to 20 pounds versus uh, just 10 pounds. So I could just stick to it and just keep at it for 10 pounds. And But uh, I'm progressing pretty good right now. I'm going to start squatting twice a week. I'm already benching twice a week. And I'm only going to deadlift once a week. I think between the squatting twice a week and deadlifting once a week, it's going to be pretty harsh on my uh, back. So I'd like to keep the deadlifting to once a week. Um, but yeah, that felt good. Later.